Container homes, building codes, and zoning permits? A nightmare that could happen. Due to the affordability and the trending urban congestion, shipping container homes are currently generating a significant amount of buzz as convenient housing alternatives in the building sector. Regarding the benefits of container homes over the traditional houses, many people are interested in building shipping container homes. Nevertheless, you can't just dive into it head first because there are things you need to know, there are things you need to consider so that you can start off on the right foot. These include the container home's building codes and zoning permits, as well as other things you need to take into consideration in order to have the right shipping container home. Honestly, passing these regulations and getting a permit to build a container home may be difficult. Therefore, you need to do your homework first, lest you make an expensive mistake. However, there are ways to get around it. So, here, we've got you covered by not only providing you with these rules and regulations, but also providing you with ways you can get the permits with ease and build the best shipping container home. If you are serious about shipping containers, I'll invite you to keep watching to the end because of step 4 and 5. They can be mind-blowing. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Cargo Home. Shipping Container Homes Building Codes and Zoning Permits the building codes and zoning permit regulations comprise the standards that must be met or exceeded before you can be permitted to build your container home and obtain an occupancy permit. Building Code A building code consists of a set of rules or standards for constructing a shipping container home. These rules are not intentionally designed to prevent people from building container homes. They are stipulated standards and conditions for the benefits of both the inhabitants and the neighbors. These standards are applied to the building blueprint and structure, either residential or commercial. The building blueprint has to meet the required standards before it can be approved. Ultimately, a final inspection will follow after the completion of the building structure. Zoning Permit Zoning rules may be excessive and restrictive. They may include some regulations and obligations as regards the types of the home claddings that can be permitted, especially within a particular residential area. In short, zoning regulations entails the location a type of house can be built and it may include specified restrictions to keep similar structures within a locality. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel Cargo Home Tips for getting a zoning permit Getting a zoning permit is not a hard nut to crack once you follow these tips. If you are yet to have the plot of land, tell your real estate agent to get you the parcel identifier or PID number of the land you intend to purchase. With the PID number, visit the local zoning department to confirm the land zoning Inquire about the covenants, rules, and regulations as regards building a shipping container home in the zone. Show the zoning department your shipping container home blueprint for approval. Ultimately, before you bid on the land, consult your real estate agent to confirm the geotechnical soil tests and other required tests so as to know if the area will be suitable for erecting a shipping container home. Otherwise, you look for a suitable plot of land. Among all the above stated steps for obtaining zoning approval, the most difficult step is the step 4. This step is the most crucial because without it, you will not be offered a zoning permit. If you manage to obtain the zoning permit, but on the final inspection of your container house, you will not be offered the occupancy permit and your structure may be marked for removal if it does not comply with the local building codes. Getting the right shipping container home blueprint for approval presents a huge obstacle. Furthermore, building codes can vary among localities or at county levels, but they are harmonized at the national level. The best way to get around this is to consult an expert in designing a shipping container plan. Someone who knows how to get around the building codes of each territorial division and design the right blueprint according to the local standards for swift approval. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel, Cargo Home. We'll catch you on the next one.